This is what the Grand Canyon looks like from space. 125,000 feet above the Earth in stunning 360 panoramic video. Keep watching and follow our journey to see how we achieve this incredible visual. Our journey to space began here, on an August morning in Arizona. We used a massive hydrogen balloon to lift a lightweight spacecraft carrying our cutting-edge 6K 360-degree camera system into space. To make sure we captured every moment, we had a number of additional 360 cameras to film the launch and recovery process, and we used a 360-equipped drone to film takeoff. Inside the camera, the spacecraft was equipped with two independent tracking systems, a radar reflector and a parachute to ensure a safe return journey. To make sure we travelled over the Grand Canyon, we built a wind model using sophisticated simulation software and weather data from over 100,000 sources to calculate the perfect launch location and timing. At 50,000 feet, the craft was above the cruising altitude of a passenger jet, and with the atmosphere at 1% of sea level pressure, the black vacuum of space was beginning to show above. Standing 277 miles long and 4,000 feet at its deepest, the Grand Canyon deserves its reputation as one of the world's most majestic natural wonders. We're now at the very apex of the flight, 38 kilometers above the Earth and higher than 99.6% of the gas that makes up our atmosphere. The temperature is minus 65 degrees Celsius, minus 85 degrees Fahrenheit, it's one of the harshest environments known to mankind. The balloon reached over 20 meters in diameter at the moment of burst, making it as tall as the White House. In the moments after burst, the lack of air resistance meant the spacecraft was falling over 150 miles per hour. We've stabilized this footage, but you can see how turbulent the descent was from the movement of the craft. While the spacecraft was returning to Earth, we were tracking its journey, headed for the predicted landing site. Now the balloon had burst, we could calculate the landing location to within a few hundred meters. As the spacecraft dropped through the stratosphere into the troposphere, the increasing air pressure caused the parachute to expand, slowing the craft down to a safe walking pace. With our advanced predictions, we were fully prepared for a long hike to recover our cameras. Entering the wilderness is all part of the job. The weather on the day was roasting hot and our travels took us deep into the sprawling Kaibab National Forest. Our work in space never fails to show us the natural beauty of our home planet. In the end, the craft was right next to a dirt track about three kilometers from Red Butte Mountain on the Coconino Plateau and 50 kilometers west of our launch site. This was a roaring success and some of our most stunning imagery yet. Subscribe today for more incredible space videos and let us know in the comments what you want to see us do next.